Ladies and gentlemen, Police Tactics Imperio, an RTS management hybrid where you manage a police station. You take over the job of hiring people and training people and you purchase vehicles and set up patrol routes and roadblocks and oh, there's stuff about SWAT and riots and oh, all sorts of stuff. I didn't get too far into it. I learned just the bare bones basics, but we will still be going with the tutorial because it's, it's pretty long. It does a good job of explaining the UI and all that jazz and it'll do a lot better of a job than I do, but it integrates itself into the main storyline too. So while I could skip it, I'll choose not to, just because like I said, it, it'll do a better job of explaining than I do. Though for the beginning bit of it, I will just kind of breeze through it real quick and explain what's going on. So for those of you who are veteran players, I apologize, but uh, well, like I said, it integrates itself into the main storyline, so it won't be too, too bad for you. I don't think, maybe, I don't know. We will go with a new game. It does have American and German uh, full audio. I, I assume this covers voice acting and all that jazz too. So we will stick with American for that purpose and just normal. Because again, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I did stop the tutorial part way. I did the very first story mission. That's as far as I got. 20 years ago, the criminal organization Imperio tried to gain control over our city. And it nearly reached its goal. It took the police years and years of hard work and effort to defeat this monstrous criminal organization. However, the leader of the organization was never caught. So despite the crime syndicate's demise, there were always concerns of Imperio crawling back out of its grave, just like in a bad horror flake. The subsequent execution of the inspector leading the operation against Imperio, John Croft, fueled the concerns of a returning syndicate. Croft was found shot outside the city two days after the final blow to the syndicate, but no clues were found connecting John Croft's murder to Imperio's thugs. Most of them were under arrest at that time, or had fled from the city. For the past 16 years, the people lived in relative safety in a rather ordinary city. Organized crime returned on a minor scale, but nowhere nearly as threatening as Imperio was. Periodically, rumors arose that Imperio was active again, usually after some capital crime remained unsolved. Fortunately, these concerns were unfounded until the day of the charity banquet in support of the AOC, the Fund Against Organized Crime. And therefore, please welcome Mayor Peterson. Thank you, Commissioner Reese. I am happy that so many of you decided to support the newly initiated AOC Fund. With your support and the fund, we will be able to fight organized crime more effectively than ever before. Those of you who have experienced the brutal grip of Imperio nearly 20 years ago will remember how ruthless and violent life in our city was. But things have changed. Someone call an ambulance! Oh my god! It's a tragedy. It seems that Police Commissioner Reese was hit while trying to protect Mayor Peterson. Worst assassin ever. Shoots once, hits a cop, then just walks out. Like, eh, good enough. Twenty years after his father, John Croft, was killed in the aftermath of the Imperio Crisis, Harvey Croft will be the next commissioner of our city. After the tragic happenings at the AOC dinner last week, where Commissioner Reese was killed while trying to protect Mayor Peterson from an assassination attempt... Mr. Croft, I am very glad to have you here. I know it must be very hard to come back to us, especially under the given circumstances. Despite the many years that have passed since, you know, please let me introduce you to the current temporary commissioner, Ducard. He will instruct you and explain the current situation. Nice to meet you. And let me just say that I had huge respect for your father and the work he has done for our city. We were partners back then. And he is still being missed. Thank you, sir. Without him, Imperio's power would not have been crushed so completely. We had more than 15 years of peace, but things changed drastically over the past months. 
The crime rate increased, and some citizens even decided to emigrate from the city. The AOC fund was meant to be the first big step to regain control of the city. Now things have gotten worse. Police officers resign from duty, and some districts haven't seen a police patrol in weeks. We need you to take over and fight the criminals in the city right now. Your work and achievements in other cities is remarkable. Your father would have been proud of you. Again, sir, thank you for the warm welcome. We should then get started immediately. You're right. Enough of the chit-chat. I have already wasted enough of your time, and you are expected at the police headquarters. Please report to Detective Sergeant Smith. He will get you filled in on the situation. Goodbye for now, Mr. Croft. We are counting on the you. The central thing is almost over. Hang in there. Ah, finally. <laughs> it's, it's pretty I long. I was waiting for you to arrive. I'm sorry for the hurry, Mr. Croft. The past days have been hell on earth for me, and for the officers that are left. It's good to have you here. No need to apologize. Commissioner Ducard filled me in on the situation. Then let's get you up to speed. I believe the mayor already gave you a quick briefing of the situation. The crime rate exploded in the past two weeks. It seems like all the criminal elements waited to come at us at the same time. I never thought it could get worse, but here we are. Seriously understaffed and lacking necessary equipment. The town's finances haven't allowed for a sufficient budget for years now. Anyhow, we need to get things under control again. Today's a rather quiet day, compared to the last few days. I'm in urgent need to leave my desk. Let's get outside, and I'll show you around. Mr. Croft, Ducard here. Smith will take a tour with you of the downtown district. Our headquarters are located between all the shops and bars, clubs and cinemas. With all the police presence, there is, was, a low crime rate here. Sure, there are occasional fights at night, mostly between these drunken subjects. Rather recently, a guy named Tony Verone caught our attention. And even though he's a small fish, he's got to be the largest in downtown. And his area of business extends into bribery, muggins, and intimidating business owners. We call him the Italian Jabba. So far, we could not hold him accountable for anything substantial. But I hear that's what you are here for. Maybe you can gather the evidence needed to convict him. Oh, right. And now's when I take over. <laughs> right. And this is this is a general gameplay and tutorial bit of it. The story, the backstory there was was quite long, but uh, did a pretty good job of explaining everything that's going on. So we've got here right just next camera handling standard WSAD controls Q and E to rotate the camera and you can control pitch as well with R and F. Woo. Zoom out, zoom in, all that jazz, select Standing people, by. standard stuff, turn down the voice because I needed it up for that intro bit. There we go. And it's it's very much an RTS control type thing. It wants me to be good, uh, control group with control one. Bang, so that's done. I'll even, uh, I can't select the car yet, fine. Um, next, into the police car. And then I'll select a police car, control group two. So I got one is the people inside the car, yes. two as the vehicle itself. And I can double press it to yes. center the camera on it, which is quite nice. Once we'd open the strategic view, which is also the overview map, you can also hit tab for that. And this is the strategic map. This is our current district that we have unlocked. I presume we unlock more as we complete main story missions. But uh, it'll be a bit for that kind of stuff. We got our HQ here and then the buildings and all that are green or I assume yellow and then red. Red meaning they are uh, in very poop condition. Uh, safety wise. And patrol panel, right? Patrols are important for keeping everything cool and happy. So we'll contribute, uh, create a new patrol route. Advance ahead. That's fine. Okay. Right, it wants me to do the white points now. So we'll just call it new patrol path for the time being and we'll just go with something a bit basic. Head here, down here. Cut across, cut across Columbus Street, down to 12th, and into Farkas Boulevard. And then uh, head back up through there. That'll work. And then right click and it completes the route. 
from here I can center the map or change the uh, 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 change the position of the waypoints. We'll just call it tutorial patrol. Cool, and we're using a vehicle for that. You can also use a helicopter or just do it on foot. But uh, on foot, as you can probably imagine, is very, very slow. So they're doing that, and now we have to select our police car, which is Control Group 2. Assign a patrol route onto Tutorial Patrol, and he'll just automatically do that. So now if I leave the T if I leave the strategic view, I can also toggle patrol routes visibly on here with this button up here. Hot key P, but that's way too much of a bother for me to press. I could rebind it, but bleh. We'll probably just leave it off for the time being. And cool. Now we're free for a little bit, and then he'll interrupt us with our first uh, crime. I think it's a drug deal. Pretty basic. It's a decent looking game from here. The uh, the main menu pan was like sort of jaggedy shitty looking because anti-aliasing was not good. But uh, looks pretty good here. You can zoom in pretty far and still looks kind of okay. Not bad for it being Unity. And we got a, a crime up in our HUD. It's a, it's a bit small, but it's here. You can also see it on the strategic view down here. Now, basically, there's a yellow outline. This is actually a timer that'll drain. Right now, it's a tutorial mission, so it won't actually be draining. It just stays how it is. You can see the strength of it here at the very top. It's a strength 12 type thing. Doesn't mean a whole lot right now because we can't really do anything about that to make that better. Okay, it wants me to, to focus on it. There we go. We focused on it. It's still a large, right? It's draining. They're still there. Just hit next. I have an employee select and move the mouse over the icon, so we'll hit uh, control group 2 and hover over. We have a strength th 6 to their strength 12, so they're probably going to beat the shit out of us. But uh, that is just the patrol car, and I think patrol car strength is... I don't think that counts both of them, or does it? Hold on, let me find out real quick. Stop patrolling the load loader, guys. Control group 1. Uh, hover over. Yeah, okay, we gain a little bit of, uh, a little bit of strength outside of the car. I'm not really sure what its logic is there, so I'll have you guys go back into the car. Work your way down here. Uh, this is just talking about patrolling skill and all that, that's fine. We'll go over that later. We are here to handle these guys, which have drops in strength significantly. I don't really know why. They just, they just have. Never get me Surrender. And that's that. Handled it pretty easily. Typically, if you have the vehicle selected and you right-click the crime scene, it'll actually remove. Where the hell are you guys going? Oh, just getting out of its way. Okay. Um, if you right-click them with the patrol car, it'll actually remove as many people as necessary to handle the threat. So if I only needed one of those guys, sometimes the criminal will just give up straight away and only one guy will head over there. And then everybody else is just standing around the car. It's, uh, it's pretty good about doing that, it seems. We're doing generally okay for health. We open up our staff menu. This guy's only down to 75%. No problem. Uh, we got a reputation point for doing the crime. That's cool. At the end of the day slash week slash whatever, we uh, we get money for it. An increase in funding. We'll set you back to patrolling, because why not? Everything should be pretty safe. It hasn't been that that long. We're only ninety seven percent, so pretty solid. Another crime, we'll head over there and handle that real quick. It's only a strength one, so really, really simple. We've got that, like, totally by the ass. In fact, there's a really good chance that we overpower him so much that he's just going to give up straight away. Yeah, his hands are already up. Only one cop head heads out and handles it, no problem. Sometimes they'll resist arrest, sometimes they'll try to run away, apparently, but I never had an issue with that. Oh no, somebody's injured, even though he totally really isn't, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> he got his ass kicked somehow. And uh, we'll just, he's in the car already. This is just telling us to basically get them back to HQ and they'll heal up. So we'll do that.
threw him in the car. The car will quickly head over to HQ. We'll unload him and let him uh, hang out in there for a little while. In fact, both of our guys are actually injured. This one's genuinely injured from uh, the first encounter. This guy's injured just because tutorial reasons. So since I told the car to go back to HQ, everybody automatically funnels out and just kind of hangs out in whichever room they belong to. These four rooms, no idea what they are. Uh, these rooms relate to specific jobs of people, like SWAT, the riot officers, investigating, detective, stuff like that. They just kind of hang out, walk around, and heal up. There was a... was there a crime thing she just said? Yes, there was. Okay, so. Let you guys heal up just a little more. I don't think the timer's actually dropping. Okay, so we'll hit one, right-click the car, they funnel in, and head on over and handle it. Should be easy. We'll do the leveling up in just a moment. So, uh, we leveled for doing stuff and things, so we'll hit the, uh, staff icon there, or F2, but fuck that. The function keys are so far away. Uh, M. Howard leveled up. And this is where there's sort of a tiered system going on, as it explains. Uh, continue tutorial, this is what those all do. They're all pretty, pretty standard. Well, they were actually given an investigator and detective in a little bit, so we won't worry about those two. I'll probably just leave this guy for, uh, patrolling. If they accumulate four skill points for any skill, they become specialized to that type of work, and it can go up to 12, I believe. Only rookies can be specialized irreversibly and only once. So we'll do that for a patrol, so he's 3 of 3 right now. And bang, now he's 4 of 12, so he specialized as a patroller, which means that he's ultra effective at keeping things safe when he's just, uh, patrolling around the strategic view. So you guys are, yeah, you're in the vehicle. I wish I could, I wish I could still control group one on these guys, even though they're in a vehicle. And then if I just like right click, it just kind of moves the vehicle that they're in automatically. Be nice, but, oh well, I have to have uh, two control groups for these guys effectively. So we'd have to hit two and one to unload units. So two and one, and there we are. It's annoying. And sometimes you get back in the vehicle and it just takes off. It's heading just way. Way over here. I don't... I don't know why. It just does. So, bye patrol car. Have fun. It is wanting us to hire people now, so we'll open the staff thing and the button on the bottom left. This just gives you a rundown of what you've got. Open the hire panel. All these guys are complete trash. They're all rookies. They're equally decent to just about everything. Some of them have minor variances in what they do. But for the most part, they're all kind of bleh. So we'll hire K Kayle Kelly, it seems. Cool. And they're over the headquarters, so we'll head to the headquarters. Standing by. And there they are. From what I can tell, I can't uh can't like rename them or anything, can I? Standing by. No, I don't think so anyway. <sighs> oh well. So where's the patrol car at? We uh yeah, <laughs> we're there, so. Come all the way back to HQ. Okay. Uh, come to HQ. Way over there. But don't unload, so I'll just tell you to manually go there, and then I'll have her hop in the car. So here we got a crime where the, the person committing the crime is actually a left, and that is why you have investigators and detectives. Investigators investigate the crime scene, detectives uh, talk to people and try to get more information. So we are yeah. given an investigator here, indicated by the little... Um, uh, beaker. Heading to investigate. Right click on the scene and he'll just automatically investigate it. The bar will fill. Slowly but surely. And then we'll use a detective and interrogate witnesses in the area. Standing Meanwhile, by. there we are. How may I help? Entering vehicle. Get in the vehicle. In Standing fact, by. okay, if I unload vehicles, it automatically selects all of them. So we'll, uh,. We'll close those control groups. Select the vehicle. It takes off just suddenly. I really don't know why it does that. Game very recently came out, so it's incredibly likely it's just a bug. 
Right. So we we did that. Now there's question marks over certain people. Sometimes I think it'll be over also like vehicles and stuff like that for like license plate gathering and stuff like that. But uh, for the time being, it's just a couple people to to do. So we'll select the uh, detective who was gifted to us and we'll talk to you and then hold shift, right click you to queue it up and we'll talk to them. Looks like there's only the two of them. Seems to be. Got one. We hover over this. Talk to all eyewitnesses. 50% now because there's just two of them. Obviously, the better of the skill that you have for investigating, the uh, the faster that happens. So you will uh, will throw you in the police vehicle, I suppose. And we know where this guy is now. So we'll just. Uh, Handle it real quick. Looks like the uh, looks like the uh, the detective got involved there too. <laughs> oh well. Handled it with no problem. So we'll head back to HQ. There should also be where are you at. You're just walking around there. You can head back to HQ too. You don't need to be way over there. I need to just like run to the station. Oh, we're on the wrong people. You head home. Stand you guys by. back in the car. Let's pick this bastard up. On my way. At your service. At your service. Copy that. I kind of thought he'd just Moving. like jump in when we got close enough. Yes. Uh, Standing cancel that. By. Continue driving. <laughs> it's a little finicky getting people home quickly on sometimes, but I only have one vehicle. Uh, you can purchase more vehicles Standing in by. a little bit. So that'll be nice. I'll pick up just a couple like really small, cheap uh, patrol squad cars to pick dudes up. So I head home and then the detective man. Uh, I can't unload you like that. So we'll just hit you, hit N, select you, return to HQ and cool. No, stop. <laughs> Quit it. There. Ugh. Okay, so now. Uh, we do have one more spot available in this vehicle that would be nice for like detecting and stuff like that. So let's just hang out here for a bit. I'll we'll actually just return to HQ and we'll see what this is all about. This is the story missions here that they uh, they pop up and are generally fairly urgent. Apparently, I don't I don't really know what happens if you ignore them. I can't imagine anything, but oh well. Progress is unlocking is visible up there. There you go. When it's available, button opens a dialogue. If I accept it, if it's running, I can focus on it with this button. Yep. When it's uh, when a mission's not available, the investigation board opens up, which just gives you information on past story missions. So let's get on with this. Mission one, bloody corn. Ooh, basically, dude got stabbed in a cinema. So let's check it out. I actually need both yes, you and you. In the downtown district. You Those leveled. Are armed and dangerous. Yes. We'll give you, uh, we'll put you in for patrolling too. How about that? How may I help? We'll do that. And then I need... You're a rookie, right? Yes. That's why you're yellow. Yeah, it's because you're, you're terrible at everything. You guys are blue because patrolling. You're red because you're the beaker thing, right? So we'll get you because you're a rookie over here. And we'll just just hang out here. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, tutorial message can't can't move you. I don't know why you're way over there. <laughs> it's a little bit buggy sometimes this game, but again, it, it did just come out. Jesus Christ. Last time I did this, they, uh, they had all fled the scene. Alright, well, do what you can. There they go, now they're on the run. You just shoot the shit out of them and the rest surrender? Man, that's so much easier. That is so much easier. Last time I did this, uh, everybody was gone, so I had to interrogate, like, four or five people. Ugh. Wow. That's, that's a lot easier. Okay, is everybody okay? Yeah, we've handled that, no problem. Okay, cool. Get back here. At your 
Return to HQ. So now it's wanting me to purchase a new vehicle. As our staff grows, obviously we need ways to get people around, and this four-seat vehicle is just not enough for us right now. It's just horrible. So we'll open up the vehicles tab. This is a rundown of everything. I can click, uh, click it for some information on it. Maintenance cost, people at seats, the skill it boosts, and all that jazz. Skill boost range. I don't, I don't know. I guess if if you have another patrol car nearby, it'll be boosted in skill two. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But, next, purchase screen, bottom left corner, just like hiring people, it wants us to purchase a large patrol car, which is a little slower, I believe, right? We have a, what do we have here, medium patrol car, can I get the docks on you, detailed view, there you go, broke the UI a little bit, it, yeah, it is a little bit slower, patrol rating 8, Uh, we don't know what it's patrol rating is. Okay, we'll just purchase it. Fine. The tutorial, I think, is sort of limiting me. Purchase stuff goes to the HQ, just like staff. Uh, can only be driven when occupied. If I happen to leave them on the streets, I can use return to HQ, and a driver will return the vehicle. Ta-da! Uh, so, detailed view. Detailed view. You can only have one open at a time, yeah. Okay, it's basically the same thing. It's just, it's a little slower. A little slower, and actually the boost isn't as high either. However, we can all get in it, which is great. So, like, everybody can just funnel in, and there we go. We got just everything. We actually have a room for a couple more people, too. So, I might, in fact, head into staff. And is anybody available to level? No, okay. Higher staff will pick up. You guys are good for SWAT. I imagine I'm going to be given a SWAT guy whenever that tutorial comes. I don't know. This is as far as I made it, by the way. We just breezed through that beginning bit real, real fast. Especially easy because the cinema staffing is actually a really quick and easy thing to do. Oh, now we're doing that. Oh, that's awkward. Was that just a... Okay, I'm confused. Uh, I think we just had a generic crime that occurred there at that same location. So this is the, uh, right. By. Now we're doing this. On Got it. Drive on over there. I believe this is the main story now. What we just did there with, like, shooting that guy and chasing down those other three, I think that was just a generic crime. On my way. That explains that. And will it automatically select the right guys for this? No, they'll all just float over there, which is fine. Y you guys can all do that, that's fine. I don't think it hurts anything. It's free experience. And it'll take a little while. Crime suspect reported in the downtown district. Oh man! Okay, let's uh, let's hire some staff here. Hire just a couple generic people, it don't matter who. There we go. I think I hired two. There you go, you guys, get in the vehicle. Head over there and handle that real quick. It's only a two point thing, should be really easy for you guys. From what I can tell, crimes just sort of naturally happen, so... I... I don't know how much you could sort of grind, in quotes, at this point. A oh, bit of a... <laughs> bit of a collision there, no problem. Get the fuck back here! They gave up, that's fine. There's so many eyewitnesses here, oh my god, that would have been so easy. Dude just playing a guitar, everybody watching. Cool. And the, uh, the transport just sort of automatically arrives and takes care of all that, so you guys can probably just go on, uh, on your patrol route. The tutorial patrol. A lot of crime happening in this area, we're actively handling it though, so we'll just continue patrolling and, uh, I don't know if that prevents crimes from happening or how that works. I'm not really sure. In fact, because we're doing a sort of a strange U-turn thing here, let's uh, go to the patrol manager. This guy. Edit patrol. Uh, select you. Scooch you over just a little bit. Scooch two over a little bit. We, there we go. That'll work. Cool. So they're doing that. We're almost done investigating down here. Takes a little while sometimes. 